my name is Alison O'Neill and I'm a shepherdess and I live on a farm, a traditional small farm in the Howe Gills and that's in Cumbria. Predominantly I shepherd sheep, I've got 250 of my own and I also shepherd another thousand for the people but I'm also a walking guide and I take people walking um, in the Howe Gills and in Cumbria and I guide with my boots on and boots off. To me it's always been quite a natural thing to do. I mean, even as a little girl, I was kind of barefoot everywhere around the farm. And mostly I do it on beaches, but I started realizing why did I not just walk barefoot around the farm or across the fells or on the fields around where I live. And I felt immediately happier the moment I took my shoes off. It was like, a bit like sort of jumping into a river full of cold water, taking my boots off and walking across a meadow or a landscape gave me the same feeling of freedom and it connects me to the earth and I feel closer to everything. This is one of my favourite places to wild swim. This is Killington Bridge that I'm standing on and behind me is the River Loon. Sometimes people think, is it going to be really cold? Is it going to be freezing cold? But it's often, even if you're just going for a five minute dip, it's pleasure and it's that lovely, for me it's the immersion in cold water. Sometimes I sort of hum and ha about getting in, feels a bit chilly, but once you're in and you've got that five minutes, you just feel exhilarated and feel fantastic. Normally it's the man that's the farmer and his wife assists. I'm not saying she has a lesser role, but he probably makes all the decisions. Um, because I'm on my own here, it's brilliant because I get to make them all. In the farming and in the walking world, I am very much in a man's world. Mm -hmm. and, and was that very difficult for you when you, when you took over the farm um, more, than, more than 10 years ago? It, it, it can be because you're not always taken seriously because you're a woman. Certainly not seriously if you're wearing a skirt and wearing red lipstick as well. Um, and I think it's hard fought. I think I've proven that I'm like anybody else. And I think the difference between man and woman has gone because I produce good stock. So going through the auction market, getting good prices, proving that I can do the job like any man and probably having to do it better to prove myself um, has been difficult. But now it's absolutely fine. For me, my walks are about a connection to land, they're about a freedom that I think we've forgotten. It's more about giving people something kind of back without them actually knowing until they've got home.